Yes! Got one. Freaking 20 incher! Let's go, baby! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Callus and Fishing. New video for you guys today, and it is season one, episode one of my new uh, Yakin and Wacken playlist. Thank you to Ethan Karpinski. Uh, also known as U.S. Fisherman on YouTube, uh, and I believe on Instagram. I posted something a while back asking for people to give me ideas of what to call this new playlist or call my kayak tournament episodes. He was the only one that gave me a suggestion and I thought it was good, so we went with it. Uh, just loaded up the truck for my first kayak derby of the year. Uh, we're gonna be leaving here in a sh short couple minutes, um, but we got the Kayak all loaded up. Truck's all loaded up as well. And as you can hear, it's windy once again. This wind just has not let up this spring. So uh, we do have some showers or potential showers and thunderstorms that might hit tonight while we're fishing or late when we're getting done. So. We will see what happens. I got the rain gear packed and uh, we're gonna try and stay dry as much as possible and hopefully catch some fish. Last I checked, there was 10 people signed up. I don't know if that number has changed. We're gonna roll out to the lake, which is uh, Ross Lake in Beaverton. And uh, we'll see you guys there. What's going on everybody? So we're at the lake and we just took off. So, You guys can see the waves behind me. Uh, I'm not going that far to start my starting spot. Um, so it looks like we're going to get some weather, possible hail, sleet. I don't know how that'll be. Um, and small mouth, large mouth in here. Smallies are better if you can find them, but sounds like a lot of the guys, at least some of them, said that they've been struggling to catch the big smallies lately because I guess this warm up screwed them up or something. So hopefully that is different tonight, at least for us. We will see. We will see what happens here. Line's in at 6. So we're fishing to 9 o'clock. We're going to try and be near the launch at least around eight-ish because that's when the weather's supposed to hit so hopefully we catch some fish and we don't go home skunked and get the 2024 season rolling it's fishing time we're gonna start off with smelt nader underspin So I'm not really sure what that tornado siren was about. I'm guessing it was a test because it was so short. Um, the weather wasn't even close to us at that point, so I don't believe it was a real tornado or anything. Going forward, um, I'm going to speed up the video a bit to kind of show me fishing around. Um, really struggled to find any sort of fishing or bites, so I'm just going to cut to some more action-related stuff and some fish catches that were not bass, hint, hint.
first cell is the worst, and it's supposed to, at least the radar looks like it's going to go around us, but... It's already starting to sprinkle. That's a fish. Looked like it was a good one. Oh, it's a pike. And he came off. This is where the weather really looked the worst. The wind had definitely picked up and was strong, as you guys can tell by the waves here and what you'll see here in a second. But decided to head closer to the launch in case it got really bad because it was really dark to the north and kind of behind me in this little video here. Um, just wanted to play it safe and be closer to the launch in case I had to bail out of the kayak. Thankfully the worst part of it with all the lightning and thunder went around us. Uh, all we got was rain and heavy winds which once the rain passed by it was started to calm down. I think that's a pike. Yeah it's another pike. Yeah. Uh. Well, we're not skunk, but it's not bass. There's the pike back on your way. That was the only fish that made it into the kayak. After catching that pike, uh, made a move and went up river further to try and find some more active fish in a different spot and we were unsuccessful in that and it got dark very very quickly on us before the tournament was over. Well guys that's gonna do it. Um, we sucked it up bad. Sucked it up really bad. We gave it our best try. That storm really threw things for a loop, and uh, I was probably throwing all the wrong stuff. I really didn't switch up anything. So, two pikes, so at least we didn't get skunked, but no bass in three hours. I'm gonna head into the launch now and uh, get things packed up and squared away before we head home. And uh, we'll let you guys know the results here shortly and uh, we'll wrap up this video. All right, so here is the results for the derby. Um, as you can see, we did not do very well at all. I really struggled to find bass and uh, only found those two pike. Getting back to the ramp, um, the guys that did well said that they were biting everything that they were hitting, um, but it sounded like they were in some warmer water. I'm not really sure where they went to find that, but 
Um, that was only my second time fishing uh, Ross Lake, so really didn't know what to expect or where to go and all that. And I thought I had a guess, but um, they also said that after the storm went through in the rain, they shut completely off. So, but we gave it our best and we stuck through the weather that came through. Um, even though the worst of it missed us, which was good, but yeah, besides that, there's really not much else to cover. I mean, you guys saw everything for the most part in this video. Um, disappointed with my finish, but uh, it's only the first one of the season. So our next one is not for two weeks from uh, when this derby happened. In the meantime, I do have another video, which will be the episode two of yakking and wagging uh playlist and season and whatever stuff we're gonna call that um it'll be basically a compilation of fish catches for the month of april tournament that i was fishing in and how i did in that so a lot of the fish catches you guys have been seeing lately on my videos expect um those ones that i entered it for the fish that i entered into the tournament uh to be all compiled into one video so Hopefully it'll turn out pretty cool. I hope you guys are enjoying all the videos. I know this one was tough. If you guys liked it, make sure to throw a like on it on this video. Um, please subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more upcoming videos, uh, more trips out, and more tournament videos and stuff like that. So until next time, stay safe out there. Get on the water. Have some fun. Catch some fish. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time.